Hi there, this is Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you my latest layout for Just Nick Studio. This is the cut file that I've chosen to work with this time. It's called Swag 2. So I decided that I was going to actually cut this out of white cardstock and I've cut it three times because in my mind um, I'd got an idea from the start. So the papers I've used this time are 49 and Market, Spectrum Sherbet and I have to say I've got quite a lot of it. I absolutely love this range when it first came out and as you'll see I still have quite a bit of it to use. So I want to lay these three cut files out in a bit of a wreath shape. Now this is just a chipboard um, element. I can't tell you how many years that I've had it. I think it was really meant to have been uh, originally designed to be decorated and used on a layout but I've used it as a template for years. It's part of a set of, that was a, a 12 by 12 chipboard. So I'm just with a pencil drawing round that because I actually go in with a sewing machine and some dark green thread and I sew some random circles. Uh, but I just needed the pencil line just to give me the first circle just so I can actually stay on track because actually stitching a circle is harder than you realise when you come to do it. Um, so um, I've just rubbed out the pencil marks there uh, so you'll never know that's what I did. So I'm going to bring in these three uh, swags. So they're pretty much identical and but I want to place them around the stitch line. So I'm just trying to figure out where I want them to sit. Uh, I want one near the bottom because it's going to where my photos are going to go. So the idea is I've gone through all the Spectrum Sherbet um, paper pads, the small ones, and I've brought out the papers that are pretty much the, uh, the plainest because I actually want to back the flowers with them. And I decided I didn't want too much pattern to do that. So I've chosen the uh, photos and I've decided to go with the um, bigger size photographs in the end that I printed. And um, I'm going to use just a pencil and go in and fill in the back of the cut file. So the idea is in my mind that I'm going to actually use colours that match the background paper. So that means that the one I'm looking at at the moment I'm going to do in shades of pink. Then the one at the bottom will be more like orangey yellows and up the left side will be more tealy, greeny colours. So that was my thoughts when I started. So I've just roughly drawn around the shape of the cut file of just that centre rose and I'm just going to freehand that to start with. Then I will just put the cut file back over the top, see which little bits need trimming off. Now obviously you can do this on the silhouette but I decided actually uh, it was easier because once you've got the middle flower in the other two can actually overlap a little. So I've cut them out roughly using a variety of the Spectrum Sherbet papers and I've gone in with some glue and that is from um, Cosmic Shimmer I think it was and I've actually stuck them down. So I'm just looking for some papers now to back the two photographs. So I'm, I'm going to use uh, a yellowy pinkies on the um, right hand photo and I'm going to look for something of a tealy, paler, uh, greeny blue for the left hand photo. Probably won't notice them when they're actually all tucked in but um, that was the thought the process behind it. So I'm just liking the way that's looking already. I think with the background paper as well there's, there's quite a bit going on. So it um, helps lift those two photos out a little. So if you get a chance, have a look at the Just Nick cut file store. Lots of lovely cut files there. I mean, this one particularly is really versatile. You could use it in lots of different ways. Uh, you certainly don't need to use three at a time like I have. So um, lots of different choices uh, there. And new cut files being added all the time. So well worth keep checking back. So I'm just having a look at a bit more at this range that I own and these are the chipboard words. And yet it's again I'm going to look at maybe colour matching as I go round the swag that I've developed. So I'm looking for something that's in a blue colour and a yellowy colour and in a pink to go in the top right corner. Some beautiful colourways in this range. I'm really impressed. I don't I felt like I was saving it at the very beginning. I don't know why. Maybe it's because in places it was in short supply. But I've got loads and I need to actually crack on and use it. Because every time I do, I realise how much I really like it. So it's well worth me doing that. So I'm just checking out what other bits and pieces were in that pack. And that I like the way it's looking so far. 
seeing if they've got, they've got some shorter words, and uh, but some of them are a little bit bright. Decided to stick with the pastels that are in the base paper. So I'm happy with that so far. So I'm now bringing in some of the acetate leaves. These sets are beautiful. I've got the pinky yellow and I've got the bluey one. And I've decided I'm actually going to add some of the acetate leaves in behind the cut files. So I'm just picking out a few. I'm also looking at some of the butterflies as well, getting sidetracked really. But a few of those wouldn't go amiss while I'm uh, looking to stick things down. So these are really versatile. I'm, I wish I'd bought more than one pack of each of these actually. I think uh, this will be something I will use again and again. So I'm just picking out a few of the bits and pieces and then I'll just tidy up and um, we'll move on to the next stage. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I'm not a fast scrapper, even though these videos are speeded up. But it's actually part of the process that I enjoy. So um, I'm actually just fiddling with these. So it's uh, I'm quite happy. So I'm just going to remove some of the bits off and I'm literally going to start um, all over again. There's a flower there. I'm not quite sure about the colour of it. And I think I do actually go in and change it for a pinkier colour. But uh, otherwise, I think the flowers are pretty much stuck down. I'm going to distress the backgrounds that go behind the photograph and then I will start to get everything stuck into place. So I've used uh, pattern paper as my background for this layout, which is actually not something that I do very often, but it's definitely something that I'm trying to do because I don't know about you, but my stash is building up and I think the best way to use it up is to actually stick stuff down to it. So I really like this paper and in fact I liked both sides of it ironically but that's the way it is and um, I, you, I think you might find me doing this a little bit more um, using paper as my background. So I'm just getting those place, photos into place. I wanted them to overlap a little so I'm just going to fiddle around with that until the way um, it goes the way I like it. Uh, I'm using double sided tape. Um, I'm not very good at committing with really strong adhesive. So that means I can actually move things and uh, mess with them even more. But uh, it's just the way I do things. So uh, I'm just going to go back in now, get the words uh, attached. So when it comes to the leaves, I've decided to actually cut them up. So there were some big, long uh, like branches um, and I'm actually going to cut them into individual or uh, groups of a couple of leaves. That way I can actually tuck literally one whole branch around one of the swags. So I've done that with the pinky one and I'm just coming in with the yellow. Uh, where, it, where I've cut it, sometimes I've just trimmed the edges down a little bit so it's not so obvious that it's been cut off a stalk. But actually that way it really fills the gaps around the cut file overlapping the photograph and I like the way that looks. So I'm coming in now with the blue one and I'm going to do exactly the same. Just cut it up a little bit. I'm just trying to colour match with the background all the time. So um, obviously they give a bit of a shine. It's They're not going to be so easy to photograph, but that's OK with me. And it's another good way of uh, get, making the most out of them. Now, I really like these, so I'm looking for some bits and pieces to, to add on. I'm thinking of getting a word maybe above the photo. That one looks a bit long, though, so I will keep looking for something that fits a little bit better. And I also want to add in the date of this photo as well. So uh, this was taken on a Hindu in Catalonia. So I had a fabulous time. That's why it's looking so summary and um, definitely a memory worth recording. So I'm, I'm very close to finishing now, but there's, I just wanted to add some centers to the flowers. So uh, my mind is already thinking, what have I got in my stash? What can I bring in to use? I'm having a bit of a use it or lose it moment. So I brought in three colours of Nouveau Drops to um, add some centres to the flowers. So one is Duck Egg Blue and then I've got Bubblegum Blush, which is the pink. And the yellowy one is Buttermilk. Now, I'm not very good with these, so I need to be careful because mixed media is not always my thing. But that's why I keep turning the paper around so that the ones nearest to me are the ones that I'm doing. I always test it on a piece of scrap paper first. So the idea is the big flower gets um, one big centre and the like the rose in the centre get the um, eight little dots. So I'm just taking my time to do this because I don't want to spoil it at this stage. I also added a few shenanigans flowers just to finish off in white. And this is the close up and all the sneak peeks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you can join me again here soon. Bye for now.